What is going on, everybody? It's Titanic Feed Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel if you want to continue to follow me along as I build this sneaker collection. There's a list of my socials down below. Also, I ask that you follow me here on YouTube and sub up to the channel so you'll be notified every time I drop a video here on this channel. And also, you can interact with me in the Family Vibes Discord group. Here is the IG page right there. Message the Instagram account if you'd like to join, or you can hit myself up if you have any questions about joining Discord group, and we'll get you started on your journey to build your sneaker collection for retail or a little more than retail. Today we taking a look at a shoe and it's highly anticipated. It's before the release date, but I mean, you've probably seen pairs of these all over the streets, all over the internet, probably seen them in your hood as well. They've been making headlines everywhere on social media and is one of the iconic silhouettes in the most iconic colorway, arguably. And everybody wants to shoot. Stock numbers have reportedly been leaked, but not sure how accurate they are. But if they are accurate, not sure how many pairs are going to be available at the store when the release date finally comes. I'm gonna read you the box label because if I show you a box, you're gonna know exactly what it is right off the top. It reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Color And I get a style code DZ that's Delta Zulu 5485612. All right, enough for the playing around. Let's go ahead and give y'all that color. Y'all can see a little bit right there. <laughs> the color is varsity red, black, silk, and muslin. inside the box top here you go a lot stamp it's right there in red and I'm just going to show it to you y'all know what that is we're going to take a look at the paper y'all see the paper like a sales paper back in 1985 I'm not sure how many of these sneaker heads were actually living back in 85, but I know I was. Fold it over. Got white paper times two. Look in here. Y'all see that YDM sticker? And underneath all the paper, I'm going to let y'all see y'all. So I'm not going to even touch it. There you go, the receipt from 1985, guys. Enough for all the packaging and the goodies. Let's go ahead and look at the sneaker. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Air Jordan Retro One High OG Lost and Found. I once was lost, now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And I see something that looks really good, guys. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Let me know what your plans are for this sneaker. And uh, I was on the fence because I still have the Spiders dead stock. And I still have my 2015 Chicago's dead stock as well. But shout out to the homie, my kick sick. You know, my kick sick. That's the homie. Kick squad. You know, that's how we do kick squad. He hooked this trade up for me. I managed to trade for these at the home. It's Lavish Life Sneakers up there in BR. Shout out to them as well. When three minds come together, we do good things. And this is what we came up with, baby. So we're going to get into the review. This shoe is made on a white base, a 
like this. And you have your red on your overlays, your red on your, your varsity red, I should say, on your overlays. You have a John Wayne's logo branded on in black right there. You also have a black Nike swoosh. And here we go with the black right here around the ankle and a little cut right here. It is crack leather, guys. This would make the sneaker called the Lost and Found. They were going for a vintage look. This is what a sneaker would look like in their mind if it was made in 1985. And we are now in 2022. That was a long, long time ago. A lot of you new YouTubers or sneakerheads wouldn't even bond if you were. Kudos to you. Looking at the midsole, you have that muslin colorway or sail on the midsole. And you have that varsity red at the very bottom. And looking at your outsole, this is how it looks. It looks like it's worn white, like it's been sitting in an old hot, dusty warehouse for about 30 years or so. But it's still stitched together and held up. This is the heel. Give you guys a better look of the heel collar, the black cracked leather on here. It looks really warm, but this is the design it was going for. And you can see a little bit of it right here as well on the medial side of the sneaker. There you go, if y'all can see that. Also on the medial side of the sneaker, you have that varsity red on your overlays as well. And you have a black Nike swoosh and you have that white on your quarter panels. Sale or muslin colorway on the midsole with the varsity red at the very bottom. And here's a good look at that toe box, guys. There you go. Look at the toe box. It reminds me of the Visionaire. Basically, this is a Jordan 1 Visionaire. By a show of hands, how many of you guys passed on the Visionaire but plan on getting this sneaker? This is the same daggone sneaker, pretty much. But this is the toolbox. That's the leather. Let's see. Let's get this tissue out of here first. Come stuff with tissue. And here we go. You can see the leather right here. It looks wrinkled. Like it's from 1985. It comes with two sets of laces. And this is how they did it. You have the sail or the white in the first holes or the first eyelets. And you have the black in the second eyelash. You have a muslin colored tongue, nylon tongue, and you have that varsity red woven patch with the Nike Air branding and the muslin colorway. And you do have the writing on the back of the tag and you have a little cotton on the back right there. And you do have a black sock liner, black sock liner going all the way around the ankle and it is kind of smooth. And let's see if I can read you guys that uh that tag. See, it's size 14 production date is March the 24th of this year to July 29th of this year. So about four months of production with these. See if I can let y'all see. There you go. And you got all these laces, well, not all, the two pair of laces stuffed inside. We're going to get that uh, insert out. We have a white insert, Varsity Red Nike Air branding at the heel. And you do see that sticker on there, side 14, Team Sasquatch, stand up. And on the bottom, you have that Dream Cell insert. And you can see the thickness of it, but this is the sneaker. So let me know what y'all think of this sneaker in the comment section. And let me know your plans about this sneaker. And there's a rumor going around that EA is coming out for this sneaker. But by the time y'all see this video, it probably have come and gone already. So if you got EA, let me know that as well. But this is the sneaker and I'm going to let you guys go. Like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.